Today we are making a square drum shade. You're going to need a couple of things to do this. First, you're going to need some canvas. Second, you're going to need square dowels cut to the size that you want your lamp. Normally at Home Depot they have a square on the bottom that's painted blue. That's the size that you're going to want. You're also going to need three quarters of an inch nails and wood glue and a drill. In the corner here and we found out through trial and error it's easier to drill a pre-drill pre a hole in the corner. So I've got a tiny uh, about an eighth, eighth or sixteenth inch uh, drill bit on here. And I go down until I hit the bottom of the bit which I've already pre-measured. Notice it's about a half inch. And then my next step is to take a pad Oh, glue, sorry. First glue, I just use a little tiny drop. That's all you need because it squeezes in there. Put, line this back up, line the corner back up. Use the little braille, bread, nail. And using the drill hole as a guide, you just put the nail in. that for both the top and the bottom of the hoop. Okay, the next step is to put these beams that go up right there, where she's pointing the end of it, the little pieces there, uh, and we just put them in the corner. I pre-drilled a hole at the top and Nail down there and then pre drill the hole on the side and then nail it over there. But uh, I'll show you how I'm, I'm going to do this here in a second. Okay, we have the two pieces the bottom square here is loose, and then the side pieces here, the top square. So, what you do is you put a little bit of glue in, a little glue on this side. Pre drill the holes already. I line it up, Brad, put it in the hole, line it up, make sure it's all square and even. Alright, now we'll flip it. Actually, I might do the other side first. Okay, that's good enough. We've uh, pre-drilled the holes on the ends of these sticks, and we're working our way around. I think we've got two more to go. We also glued the end. So once you've created your entire frame on your box, you've knit all of the joints together like so on every single corner. So that should be eight corners total. Then you're going to take whatever fabric you'd like and cut out what you're going to cover it with. I have used canvas. You can get this at your local Home Depot. And as you can see, I've created a line and marked out a box where my seams will be. And you can use um, staples, glue, or a sewing machine to glue it together. All you have to do is literally set your box in front of your fabric and trace around around your box onto the fabric. Then you're going to tilt your next box and trace around there. Make sure you trace around every single box before you cut anything. Then you'll cut off any excess fabric along the edges that you need to. The next step is to combine the line long ways up together to create a seam along this edge. Your next step is to line up the edges on either side to meet where the right side is facing each other. 
You'll take this edge and you'll match it with the edge on the other side. And make sure you straighten out everything. So it makes a small triangle. Then what you'll do is you'll take a stapler or a sewing machine and connect this line on either side. So that way it creates a corner like this. Make sure you do this to all four corners. If you connect the edges just like you drew them on the wrong sides facing out, then you should be left with fabric on the inside corners. You can trim this fabric or leave it for a design. Make sure that when you fit your box, your frame inside your fabric, that there's enough room to roll your fabric over the top edge to give it a nice clean finished look like so. You can glue this and make sure that you have a clamp to hold it together. Once you cut the insides of your uh, fabric for the rest of the lamp, then you're going to want to glue this extra around your dowel rod. The way you do it is you're going to line the top of the dowel rod with glue. You'll line the inside and you'll line the underneath part. Once you line everything, go from the middle to the outside and you'll just roll it around. Once it's flat on the dowel rod, you'll take a clothespin and clip it there to keep it until it dries. You'll do this all the way to the outside until you have all four sides rolled under and then you'll just wait for it to dry. Okay, this is being hung by this 20 inch piece of board here and we drilled a hole in the middle and hung it on the fixture and we're going to balance it and sell it into place and there we go.